Hello, hello everybody. And we got some new fry. Exciting, exciting, exciting. These are full red fry in a drop tank. I have already caught out quite a few. So, exciting. The new full reds. Just so you can see what they are supposed to look like here. There's now. But the two most pregnant females in the drop tank. The fry. I've put in this tank down here. And then here's, I left a pair in here. That's what we're dealing with right there. They're all getting hit with Levamisol. So this is a, I guess this will be a Water Change Friday video. I haven't done one of them in a minute. Let's see what's going on here. Look at all the super red babies. The snails are hoarded in mass because <laughs> they just got a bunch of algae wafers last night. And now the next morning they are cleaning up the leftovers. So are all the little baby pluckos. Look at all of them. There's a hundred plus in there. And I left them in the breeder box until for about two and a half weeks, I think it was. And then I released them into the tank last weekend sometime, I believe it was. And now they are growing up fast. Looking super good. All these dang snails. From all the food I gotta throw in here. Keep all these pluckos happy. You end up with a bunch of snails. Unfortunately. So it looks like this tank is done draining. I've noticed I have been getting quite a bit more fry lately. I haven't been getting fry in my guppies. But now I have been. Another bout of... It's not enough to make them sick or kill them, but enough to make them not want to have babies. Let's see if we can see... Oh. Here's one. One of the ones I caught and put in here. We have caught four so far. Put in here. <laughs> Just a little feller. I come home from work last night. No, oh, where'd you go, man? Come home from work last night, and I saw two fry in that drop tank. I think it last night I saw up to three at a time. Then I woke out in there this morning, turned the lights on earlier to do water changes, and I see at least like a dozen. So the rest in there, I got to catch out. I think I've got about four in here so far. So this will end up being the main full red tank. I keep that tank of them over there as well. 
Anytime I see Fry, I probably move that male back and forth. Or put the females back in there or something. I'm not sure how I'm going to play it yet. But that's what we're going to do. So, just taking a look at all the fish tanks. Water change Friday. Quick look at some cool stuff going on. I think there's another one. I guess it could be the same one. But it's another <laughs> fry spotting. Where'd you go? I see with my eye. I can't see in the camera screen. There you are, bud. A few little fry in a great big 40 gallon tank. He should be happy. his shrimpy friends <laughs> so we got fry let's see what else we got going on over here oh now we got some frying here if we can find oh they're already coloring up the half black green fry there's what it's gonna look like They are green. Oh, kind of a turquoise when it gets in the right light. A really cool fish. We got. Oh, let me see. I don't know. These are already coloring up. These were born like a day after I got them. I think. These little fries already have some color on them growing up fast might be frying here at some point they're kind of they look like they're struggling a little bit because Said I've hit everyone with Levamisol, and it, I mean, it's kind of hard on them, it really is. It's what needs to be done sometimes. That's what we got. So, some cool stuff. Try to see what else we got going on around here this week, or this weekend, and I'll make some more videos. Thank you all for watching. Bye.